Hello Gemini, I am Ulrich, I'm a Roman card reader, and today we will do the work money business card reading for the sign of Gemini for the month of January. I will try to keep the reading as short as possible, but of course it's my intention to deliver you a quality product, so it will require some of your time. As always, we will do four card readings for the sign of Gemini for the month of January. And these are based on the natural elements in your astrological chart or for some of you on your time of birth. These basic elements are air, earth, water, and fire. Now, the four objects that you always see on my table are directly connected to those elements. So you choose or you pick one that you think relates most to your personality or you choose one you feel most comfortable with. This object of your choice, it should or it will relate the best to your current situation. However, if the object and the related video does not match your first choice, please check the other videos that are immediately connected in the same session. I'm sure one of the four will fit you. Anyway, the matches represent the fire element, the stone represents the earth element, the aerosol sprayer represents the air element, and the shell represents the water element. Also, I want to add, if you have questions, you can always post them in the comments below. And of course, as soon as I have time, I will answer to them. So, Gemini, here we go for your work money business card reading uh, for January 2022. Hello, Gemini, and welcome uh, to the water or the shell group for your uh, money business uh, card reading for uh, January. As the first card here, we see the tower on your person. The tower um, here uh, with the tower, we see that structure is uh, very important uh, here now. Uh, there are probably some long-term uh, commitments uh, that we are about to undertake here um, with this uh, card on our person here. Uh, anyway, we need to have trust uh, in our faith that this is our destiny, that we are on the right path here. Uh, this is what we are uh, seeing here. Um, here also, if you, the, the key here is, because we literally have the key here, the key here is focusing uh, on your career and on your path that you're going. The snake requires us to focus, to be diplomatic, to be calm. Uh, this is what we are seeing here. Also, it's planning. We need to make planning. The tower requires planning. And here, the snake is strategic diplomacy. So we need to make a strategic plan if we want to reach our destination. But we will uh, if we focus here. <laughs> Uh, then we have um, here also, um, so if we are consistent here with this combination, we will see the positive results here uh, of our discipline that we are applying. Then we have the rider. The rider is quite an assertive part here. It uh, tells us to things, uh, uh, put things on the move here. Uh, we could find, uh, we, we could find here, uh, Sometimes also this points that new people are coming into our, our life here uh, with this uh, combination. Um, also, it points to um, people that are around us, they are motivated and we ourselves also are motivated uh, to reach our goal. This is what we are uh, seeing with this combination. Um, uh, mostly here, it, it tells us also that we are uh, that we are easygoing uh, in with this combination here for doing business. Possibly also this points to uh, new projects that we are about to undertake here. Uh, maybe we, or we go in a new direction um, in our work, in our business. This is what we are seeing here um, with these two cards together. Um, also, we set, set certain goals here. We need to work towards here. We need to be actively participating in reaching our goals here. Uh, certain things we will need to put behind us, especially negative things. If we experience, we need to get over those negative things here this is what we are seeing here but here it tells us also that we are not alone people who are around us here are willing to help us then we have the tower the key and uh, uh, the snake here uh, it tells us here that um here we see that uh, we have learned certain things in the past here and they can, can help us now here uh, uh, for moving forward it's like things a clue from the past helps us 
to move forward. Uh, but here we need to, we are destined to succeed, but we need to focus, as I said earlier here, it's very important that we are diplomatic here, that we are uh, focusing here. It's a very positive combination here for moving forward, for reaching our goal, uh, for reaching our targets here. We need to have faith, providence here. This is what we are seeing here also. It's like we are guided towards a certain goal and we know that this is our uh, goal that we need to reach. This is the place where we need to go here uh, with this uh, combination. Also, some things out of the past uh, will come back to you and they will help you now during uh, this uh, period. Um, sometimes also it means that we could quite uh, be quite strict towards ourselves, that we have a lot of discipline or uh, maybe uh, some authorities, some people above us, if we are uh, working for somebody, they could be quite strict on us here. Uh, sometimes they are very strict and then sometimes they let go. But there is some form of strictness here, this uh, what we are seeing here. Anyway, we need to have a rational diplomatic thinking here. If we do so, we can advance here. Then we have the key and the snake. Uh, here we see uh, here, if, if we are uh, need to manage certain situation here, this is successful here. There are certain challenges we will overcome because we have learned out of the, the past if there were dangerous situation around us or a more difficult situation, we will resolve these situations, but we will uh, do it. Uh, we need to do it with diplomacy, with tact. We cannot be aggressive. We need to do it with a certain tact here on the long run. This is what we are seeing here. It's possible also, as I said earlier, that you approach the things in a different way uh, compared to before. This is what we are uh, seeing here. Uh, if somebody wants to get uh, something from you and you don't feel good about it, Gemini can be quite creative. He has a creative mind. And if some people want to get their way with you, uh, especially higher place people, you will get out of the situation. The snake is very smart. It's tricky. And if... Uh, like a uh, person who is in charge and he want to uh, push you in a certain direction, you will go in a roundabout way and you do it your own way anyway. This is You will block them uh, for getting their way with you. This is what we are uh, seeing here. Um, also, we ourselves, if we looking for a certain path with the snake, it's like we can sneak in. We seek our way in and we sneak our way in here and we can find where we want to go. We strive here uh, to certain understandings uh, that we are uh, seeing here. Also, it's an important, important experience here that we have here uh, towards uh, business. Um, anyway, here we see also we have the ability or abilities to, uh, to help or to uh, that some people need to say yes to you. It's like we we motivate them to say yes. This is what we are seeing here. Then we have the rider and um, the the ride the tower and the rider here. Here the a message is coming to us that we are able to move forward. Things if the tower the tower blocks sometimes things temporary blockades. And here we see that we are overcoming these blockades or these temporary stops, and we are. Uh, able to move on here. This will have been temporary blockades because we have the mice here. Uh, also, we need to, with the mice, we need to pay attention if we move forward on the details. It's very important if we do business with the mice that we pay details, because if we don't pay attention uh, to the details, uh, we could have more delays. So pay attention on public details, details with the public. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination. Anyway, uh, this points news from uh, higher authorities. CEOs or you yourself, you distribute uh, news towards your staff. This is what we are uh, seeing here. This points to government offices. We go to government offices related to our business. This is what we are uh, seeing here. The government gives us news and we get or we get feedback here, reports from the government related to our businesses. Sometimes also um, if the, the government would be too intrusive on, on our business, we try to block them out here because the book likes to keep uh, secrets here. We don't allow meddling into our business, especially not from government or from authorities. Uh, we are not very open towards that here. Uh, we challenge here the authorities here if they want to meddle with our business here. This is what we are seeing here. Uh, and if they um, want to impress us, we are not really impressed with the way that they want to approach us. Uh, it doesn't really, it's not really successful what they are trying to do here with us. Uh, then we have the rider and the house. Here we see um, 
there is a lot of people coming into the business here uh, that we are seeing here. You, you, it, you get a lot of um, potential customers here, maybe new customers that are coming here. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination. But it's not clear if these people with, will contract, to, uh, contract engage with you or not yet, because the book is closed and it's sometime, uh, sometimes it's difficult to see here. But the answer is focus here, diplomacy, tact, um, keeping all the bridges open and also don't share information. Don't share information with others. It's very important about business that you keep your information for you that you are having. Uh, don't share business information with other specific information about your business. Don't share too much here because the snake tells us to be quiet and the book also is closed. So we need to keep the information here for ourselves. This is what we are seeing here. Uh, with then uh, coming back to the rider and the house here, we have progress, we move forward here, the business moves forward here. Um, if you are in uh, a more advanced stage of your life and you're already in a better position, sometimes this points also that the business offers us a place to stay. Like it could be a place in abroad is offered to us or they offer us an apartment from the business. This is what we are seeing here. Uh, if you have a business, this could mean an ad additional, um, additional branch that you add to your business, maybe in a different location, maybe in another city. This is what we are seeing here. And we welcome people there for the opening of the business. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination of cards. Uh, there will be some uh, pressure here uh, for moving forward with our business, especially if we have made some investments. Then we have the tower and the house. We mirror the cards here. This points to the org, um, the head, the head office. Uh, if we have several branches, this points to the head office, this combination uh, that we are uh, seeing here. And it's possible again here that we set certain boundaries towards them here uh, with this uh, combination. These people are in charge, but it's like we move away for ourselves. Uh, if you have certain, uh, if you have more than one branch, it's possible that you relocate yourself to another branch here. This is what we are uh, seeing here uh, with this combination. Sometimes also this points to people who are somehow connected to real estate. Um, if this is our private home, it means that our private home could be quite structural. Sometimes this points to people who have a very big house. Uh, if we are further advanced in our business, this can really po points to a, a big, uh, that we own big real estate here, large homes. Uh, so for some people, this could point that they have a, uh, an, an apartment um, here that is very luxurious. Um, this is what we are seeing here. Or for some people, it could really mean that they have a small castle, uh, as we see there we hear, or penthouses also are, uh, because this is the top penthouses here uh, we are seeing here. Anyway, uh, this could also point to a person who is, or if you are advanced in your life, this could point to the head, the CEO of the business then would, that would then uh, relate to you as a person. Anyway, this is a person that, that strictly uh, keeps to the plans, governs what he does. Then we have the snake, the, the book uh, and the house. The snake the, and the book here, it tells us that we get wiser, we are smart, we keep our wisdom for us. We are urged here to share, not everything with everybody, uh, especially on the business front here. Uh, we are also uh, a person with a lot of knowledge. Here on the personal front, you will already from your person, even though you communicate a lot, because Gemini communicates a lot, it doesn't mean that you share everything. It's a smart communication here that we are seeing here. Sometimes this points also to a person who is quite um, religious. This could point to religious books also, uh, maybe in your, uh, in your spare time, you are a religious or a spiritual person. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination. Anyway, you will not share everybody. You have a lot of knowledge here in your field of work related to your business here. This is what we are seeing here. We educate ourselves uh, more here. Um, it's sometimes also it points that the people who work in our business, that we educate them, but specifically in their field. 
This is what we are seeing here. Sometimes this points also to with the tower to academic careers. This could also be like that. Maybe you have a business, but you also teach. Sometimes this points to an academic career, a, a career on university, a career in a school. But with the tower, it's a higher position that we are seeing here. Uh, this is what we are seeing here. Here it's like we are literally craving for more knowledge. If we are studying, this is a very good combination also as a student because we really want to get more knowledge here. This is what we are seeing here. Then the book and the house here. Uh, this points that um, we are not, uh, if we are still in the early stages of uh, expanding our business or starting a business, uh, it means that we don't know yet exactly where we are gonna go here. Uh, but if you are an employee, it points that maybe you go from the head office, we see this here again, that you move to another location. They tell you in the future, you will need to move to another branch, but it's not yet sure where you are gonna go. This is what we are seeing here. Also it points, if we work already, we um, we do, we uh, self-educate us here ourselves here. Autodidact. This is a person who homeschools himself here. This is what we are seeing here. If you have children, sometimes this points that you educate your uh, children yourself in your house. This is what we are seeing here with this uh, combination. Sometimes also this points to deeds. Maybe you're considering uh, for buying a property of your own because this points to deeds. But for now, this is to come. So things are not yet clear, but mo mostly this points uh, to a deed here that we are seeing here. Um, anyway, um, we see uh, also we, we check out the neighborhood very thorough, how it is here. Probably we prefer to live in a quiet area because the snakes likes to keep things quiet. The book is closed also. This is quiet here. The house keeps to rules. So you want a very ruled, regulated, quiet environment. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination. If you educate yourself, probably you need silence. If you are in the school, uh, probably there are as we saw before earlier here, uh, we see here there are quite some rules, strictness, also silence is required there for education. Uh, and also we have a specific knowledge, private knowledge that is coming to us. Then we have the snake and the house. Uh, the snake and the house, sometimes we mirror the cards here now, these two. Uh, here we see that sometimes we need to, that there is, that everything is not clear. If we get information from the head office, it's like everything is not revealed and you, you could have the feeling they hold something back for us. If you yourself want to, um, want to add a branch or you want to start a business, it's possible that everything is not clear. You are not clear exactly where we are going here uh, with this combination. Sometimes also it points that if we have connections with certain people, it's like you don't know how these people exactly are connected to certain people. So here it's like the connections, the wiring to, towards the business, it's not clear. This is what we are seeing here also. It's like there's some secrecy here uh, going on here with this uh, combination. Also, we will be very strict towards our privacy because the, the house has strict rules and this is our privacy. We will uh, keep our privacy very uh, separated also uh, from our business life. Also be careful, I say this always, be careful what you post on the internet because sometimes it's very hard to get it off. Uh, anyway, here uh, we see here also that this uh, is, it's possible that your family does something similar. Maybe your family is also in real estate or they are in banking. They do something with deeds or they do something with money or some, uh, something structural here. It's related to what your, in a way there is a relationship to what your uh, parents or your grandparents did and what you do. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination. Anyway, um, if we cannot reach our goals in a straight path with the snake, sometimes it tells us we need to go in a roundabout way. The snake is very flexible and here we need to reach our goals in a roundabout way. Also, if we are uh, looking for knowledge and we cannot uh, get the knowledge that we want and we know there is more, we need to go deeper. It's possible that we move around and we go in a roundabout way for getting to know the knowledge that we want. Maybe the knowledge that we are receiving is too structural and we want more. This is what we are seeing here with this uh, combination of cards. 
Anyway, uh, this points also a person in charge for the business here that we are seeing here. Uh, sometimes also this points that we are strongly uh, connected or that we are maybe planning, family planning. We crave for a family. This is what we are seeing here. And the place where we are, we wanted to make it as comfortable as possible for ourselves here. Uh, this is what we are seeing here. It's possible also that uh, in the place where we are studying or regarding our business, we uh, here are urged to be very diplomatic to diplomatic towards our staff, towards our customer here. Diplomacy is here very important in the whole reading here. Structure, diplomacy, um, a wise way of doing business. If you do business in a wise structural, you keep your appointments, you keep your agreements here. This is very good for expanding, but you will need to keep to the structure. You need to be careful what you share. If you will not do it, you will could experience some delays here. Anyway, um, this is a quite a positive reading here that we have for Gemini, uh, if you uh, work it out well for yourself. Anyway, Gemini, this is all for uh, this month. I hope you get a little bit wiser out of this uh, out of this uh, reading. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. If this card reading don't fit you at all, please check the other three that are immediately connected here. I'm sure one of the four will fit you. If you're interested in love card readings specifically, you can also find the love card readings or the relationship readings. Uh, and there are also specific um, financial readings that we do for the sign of Gemini. Anyway, uh, anything is available on everything is available on my channel. Uh, it will just require some of your time. Anyway, Gemini, this is all for now. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe, please. Uh, thank you for your time. Bye bye for now. Hello, Gemini, and welcome to the aerosol or the air group. Uh, for your uh, work business money card reading uh, for uh, January 2022. As your first card here uh, from this portrait, we see the clouds. Uh, the clouds is um, the cards that we need to focus on things here. Uh, these two cards here is a very strong focus on business work. So both of them uh, point to uh, that we can focus ourselves, that we uh, need to focus on business, on uh, anything that we do related to our work here. Also that we need to see that we have a focus, that we keep uh, our money tight for the business, that we keep it under control because uh, we have the book here, which means accountancy. So we need to take our money under control here. This is what we are seeing here anyway. Uh, the book also, uh, sorry, the uh, portrait, uh, the clouds here, it points uh, also that we need to uh, slow down. We need to take uh, a breath here uh, because probably we have a lot of energy or we want to get things on the move here, but sometimes we cannot force things here. We need to figure uh, how, uh, how things are best uh, working in our advantage here. Uh, this is what we are uh, seeing here with this combination. Sometimes it's also possible that uh, things are uh, not easy in the coming phase. We might uh, be confronted with some uh, stormy things here in our life. This is what we are uh, seeing here. But here with the snake, it's possible, it's best here that we react uh, in business and in work, uh, and also related that we um, act in diplomacy, tactful. Uh, this is uh, important here. Also, sometimes it's best that we don't share everything, that we keep quiet. We need to make certain plannings here. We need to be strategic, but diplomacy is very important here. Negotiations here also, diplomatic negotiations, diplomatic, uh, diplomatic conversations here. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this combination. The whip often points to communication, conversation, sometimes also to quarrels, big quarrels that we are seeing here. Um, it could literally mean that we crack the whip in some areas of our life. Uh, this is what we are uh, seeing here. We need to be careful here that we don't cause more problems than we already have. So diplomacy is very important here. Try to uh, try to avoid uh, aggressive approaches here. This is what we are seeing here, especially related to others. Sometimes it's not good in business, in money, that we are too aggressive here uh, with this combination. But if we uh, want to get things on the move for personal year, after we give this period, uh, thinking the thinking period, uh, it's time. 
we, we could move on here. We need to move on in a slow pace here. We can move on here. Um, here also, there's a lot of diplomacy here also. This is a diplomatic uh, card here also that we are seeing here. So it's best here to work this out in the diplomatic way. Then we have the clouds the snake, um, oh, sorry, the, uh, the clouds, the snake and um, the clouds, the fish and the book here. Uh, the clouds and the fish here, it points that uh, we could have some uh, financial worries, not necessarily financial problems, but worries here. Maybe there's something wrong in our business and we worry about certain facts in our business. Maybe we need to readdress the whole situation. Maybe we need to figure out, rethink certain things in our accountancy. There could be some confusion about finances here. This is what we are seeing. That's why I said in the earlier reading, you need to focus here on your businesses uh, pra uh, practices here. Sometimes also this points to cash flow problems. It doesn't necessarily mean uh, short of money, but cash flow problems here that we are seeing here. But uh, mostly this points that this is a temporary period uh, that is going on here with this uh, combination here. Uh, sometimes also we need to be careful that people don't have hidden motives uh, related to our business here uh, that are connected to us. We need to be careful and Anyway, here um, with this combination, sometimes also it points that we are not really knowing well where we are going with our business. It's like we have an unclear business view. This could be the point also. But if you can, if you can refocus here, this would be a, a very good thing to do. Then we have the fish and the book after this period of unclarity is gone and you are able to refocus here, we see that our financial matters here are improving. It, it could be not clear immediately because the book hide things, but eventually you will see that it, your financial situation becomes clearer here. Uh, our, our finances are improving. We become more stable. We come in a new phase here of stab stability because the child is new and this is stability. So we come in a new phase here of stability here. This is what we are uh, seeing here. Or we implement something new in our business for becoming a new, uh, more stable here. And we need to pay very good attention here to our financial health here, uh, that our business that we can make our um, finances healthy. Sometimes also this points that if we don't have a clear view over, uh, over our business, that we are hiring an expert in certain uh, things related to our business. This could mean that you uh, hire uh, an, an expert accountancy or an expert in the field that you are working in. This is what we are seeing here also. Uh, sometimes also this points to an educator, a person who educates in the in the in the in the financial financial world also, but it means also that we ourselves learn uh, new lessons here. Sometimes this points, if you would be a student, for instance, or if you educate yourself more, that the study could be quite expensive here. This is what we are seeing here. Then the clouds and uh, the snake uh, in itself here, the clouds and the snake here, the upper line here. Uh, we need to be careful here that we are not confronted with ill-willed staff, people who are, have uh, staff that is not good to us, that, that is not working well in our business. They don't have an ill will. Some Sometimes this points to dishonest staff also that we are lied to. Uh, we need to be very careful here with this combination if we do business here, that our staff or people are not lying to us. There could be somebody... It could be a competitor, but it could be that an employee or, or somebody or another person or a colleague is lying to you. This is what we are seeing here. Uh, and we need to manage this with tact, diplomacy. Um, this is what we are seeing here. It's, it's always care, uh, 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 wise to be careful here how we act and react, because the whip can act quite assertive, sometimes aggressive, but you have a lot of diplomatic cards here. So try to do it in a diplomatic smart way. Here, it's important that we are smart. You have two smart cards here and you need to guide the situation in your best interest without too much aggressiveness. It doesn't mean that you cannot negotiate and communicate and strive for your rights. That's something else, but be careful with being too aggressive. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this combination here. 
especially if these people confront you with certain uh, facts and they they bring the aggression to you be diplomatic if they bring the aggression to you or they act aggressive words towards you here this is what we are uh, seeing here it's best here that we use our brain here we need to use our brain here and not our energy this is very important here with this combination sometimes also uh, it points that we ask around um, for us for second opinions that we ask somebody else's opinion here uh, with this combination uh, be careful of course if you ask somebody for an opinion that this person is not connected to the persons that are dishonest so you keep quiet here with the fox we need to take our time and observe and the snake is also a card that waits but here at the end of the reading we see we have a renewal this is a very diplomatic card here that we are having here for renewal but we need to figure it out how it's all uh, exactly connected here because sometimes really this points to uh, not only to ill will but also to criminal activity so be careful here that uh, you don't get engaged in criminality or in a way you don't, it's not necessarily that you want to get in there, but that some people relate to the business or in your business or something like that, that they are not related to criminality. Be careful here with that here uh, because something slippery, tricky could be going on here with this uh, combination. There could, this could, uh, if you don't get it under control, and you don't look at it wise, this could uh, be a problem. Uh, uh, there's some shady things here going on here. This is what we are uh, seeing here. And sometimes it's with the clouds here, we cannot clearly see what is going on. So you will need to focus and very strongly observe and wait till the right moment. What, if, what you can also do with this combination, it's like you put up some kind of smoke screen around yourself and you pretend that you don't observe, but actually you do. So this is what, what we are seeing here, but it's important here that we don't share. This is uh, very important here that you keep uh, yourself. You need to outsmart the other or the competition or people who are working for you. Uh, this is what we are seeing here with this combination. You need to, if you have business competition, this could point also to business competition, you need to see that you outsmart them. This is what we are seeing here. You need to wait till it's the time to move here and then you slowly will get out of this confusion. This is what we are seeing here. Then we have the snake and the fox here. Uh, we will need to think about ourselves for getting in the right path here again. Uh, it could be that you need to move around a little bit like a snake that you need to be a little bit uh, if if some people have maneuvered you in a difficult situation it's possible here that you need to think wisely you need to think wisely you need to be tricky for get out of there here it's possible that also it's a very difficult combination is that some people if you are have competent competitors that they lay a trap of you so don't get trapped here see the trap coming think before you move it's very important that you do so here because these are two cards that operate of the mind. They operate between dusk and dawn. They tell us to be very careful here uh, and manipulate the situation in our advantage. So it's very, very important here that you do so here because there could be some something going on here, some skillful liars, falseness here going on. So we need to be careful here with this uh, combination here. The, we need to be careful that people don't take advantage of us on the financial or any way uh, possible here. This is what we are uh, seeing here. Then we have the clouds and the fox. We mirror these two cards here now towards each other. Again here, we have deception, trickery here. We need to play it smart here. If we play it it's smart, we will achieve our goals here. But don't reveal where you're going. If something is going on here, uh, don't reveal here. It's possible also that you catch yourself, that you start eating more or th that you take more food because you're stressed here. This is what we are seeing here with this uh, combination. Anyway, this fraud, if you 
approach it in the right way, it will clear up here. But some people are hiding here, uh, some things here. This is what we are seeing here. We will need to be adaptive. The fox adapts. So we need to adapt to the uncertain situation that we are in here. Also be cautious that you don't share all your knowledge with other people here, uh, because people could be pretending around you here uh, with this combination. And in, be in the beginning, it could be difficult um, to see what is actually uh, going on. Then we have the fox and the bouquet here. Uh, this is then the last line here. Um, after it's possible here, um, that you come in a in a more positive situation here that we are seeing here we need to see that we get back on our feet here um here it's possible also here with this combination that um if we are contacting or we recontact some some people or they recontact and they flatter with us but the intentions are not what they seem to be um, here for ourselves, it's important that we think about our own uh, self-interest here. This is very important here. If you want to get uh, back on your feet, that you think about yourself here. This is what we are seeing. Sometimes also we need to be careful with this combination that we are not confronted with certain forgeries. So if you are working with documents, with anything, with, with documents, with anything that is related to your business, be careful here not to be confronted with forgeries here, because sometimes this points to forgeries here. Take your time to observe, uh, especially re relationship, especially if there's a lot of flattery towards your person going on, be careful with that here, with this combination. But here we see that we are socializing, we are diplomatic, we use our crafts here for getting back on our feet, for getting ourselves uh, in a better situation here with this combination. Also, you will be very cautious because you experienced some things in the past year uh, before you let some people in into the business uh, and whatever it is going on there. Then we have the bouquet and the anchor. These two cards are very positive here. We see that we go back to uh, success. If you are smart, if you play it tricky, if you're diplomatic here, we see that our efforts are paying off here. Then we come back in a phase of celebration, renewal here, the relationships that we are undergoing uh, or are uh, approaching to uh, will be more stable and secure here. We. In the beginning here, we could be very stressed, tied up, literally. And here at the end of the of the laying year, we see here that um, that that we feel more secure. We loosen up. We become more flexible here. Uh, it will be difficult because probably you had a hard time here in the beginning, uh, and you felt a little bit confined, restricted. You need to be watching what you are doing here. But here we will see that we uh, we take a break. We come uh, back in a pleasant, more pleasant situation. Uh, then I want to add the book and the anchor here. Additional here. Um, here we see that we get informed. We undertake certain investigation for getting back back on the right track. Um, you must also trust your own knowledge and experience. It's also uh, important to do so. But anyway, with the fox and the, the snake uh, and the clouds, it's very important to double check all the facts. I, I mentioned forgeries and whatever here, be careful here, double check, triple check documents, facts, anything related to money, business here. It's very important that you do so, that you don't get cheated, that you don't get lied to, that, that you don't get in deceptive situations, that you don't come in criminal things without that you actually want it. Sometimes it, it, we don't know that we are into something we don't, it's not always that we go consciously in it. It's like something unconsciously, especially with the clouds here, that we cannot see what we engage ourselves in. So be careful if you do so, if you engage with certain people, because they might not see what they are. This is very careful here uh, that you do so here um, with this uh, combination. Anyway, we need to focus here. Again, here, the, 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 the solution link, uh, lies in focusing, observing, moving slow. Uh, this is what, what we are uh, seeing here with this combination. So Gemini, this is all for the air group. I hope you get a little bit wiser. It's a, tra a tricky thing here that is going on. Uh, I hope you get a little bit wiser. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. If this card reading don't fit you at all, please check the other three that are co connected here. I'm sure one of the four will fit you. Uh, if you are interested in specific love card readings, you can also check the love card readings or the 
personal financial card readings that we are doing here. You can find anything, everything on my channel here, but of course it will require some of your time. Anyway, I want to thank you for your time and I'm sure we see each other in my other videos. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for doing so and bye-bye for now, Gemini. Hello Gemini and welcome to the Stone or the Earth Group for your business money work card reading for January 2022. As the first card here, we see the card of the crossroads. It means that we will uh, need to make some important decisions in our life here. Um, it will be play a very uh, strong role in our life, certain decisions that we are about uh, to take. Uh, we have a lot of decisive cards here, so you will need to make some decisions here uh, with this combination. We have the sit here, the whip. Um, so these are uh, decisions that need to be made here. Um, uh, here we see that uh, it's not going to be easy because this is not an easy card reading, but I will uh, try to get the most positive out of it here. Uh, I will try to approach it in that way. In the central card, we see the sun. The sun is then an overall positive card. Uh, it's the, part, the card that is close to your person. So it means that even though the circumstances could be harsh, could be uh, require decisions uh, sometimes also there will be some uh, personal suffering uh, not necessarily uh, but maybe there's like a kind of mental suffering mental pain here um, but here we will uh, try to make the best out of it this is what we are seeing here but in general the sun is positive so it means uh, even though the situation is very difficult we will make the best out of it because these are the cards that are or on our person and we will could be quite decisive with an with a kind of enlightened angle so we make we make clear decision if there is confusion but uh, now we will go actually into the reading here um we start here um with the crossroads and the ring uh, and here we see that uh, we need to uh, if we don't let go of certain things it will cause suffering so we will need to make some business decision if there are some things contracts that make us suffer now we will need to let this go or, or we will need to renegotiate uh, renegotiate things this is what we are uh, seeing here with this combination uh, it's best also that we keep distance we let things play in our head but it's the best here that we don't get emotionally involved if we uh, make certain business decisions we need to take distance here um, we need to rely on what we know on our knowledge here um, and we need to see uh, if we make certain commitments or agreements uh, which might not be advisable to do now uh, for this time because we have the clouds here that we um we take only uh, business decisions that are in our self-interest and our best interest here. This is what we are uh, seeing here. Uh, but anyway, there will be some choices. There will be some doubts here regarding contracts. Um, if certain contracts uh, come to you, um, be careful if you make decisions because there could be there could be something harsh related to these contracts or they might not be what they seem here. Uh, this is what we are uh, seeing. If you uh, want to reach a certain contract, it's possible that there are very hard negotiations for getting somewhere. This is what we are seeing here with this uh, combination. Um, it's possible if we go in it, that there will be a lot of deliberations about here. Uh, this is what we are seeing here. It's possible also that we look for alternative routes for getting certain contracts or uh, agreements. It's possible that we need to take decisions that, in con that are contradictive in the way we think. So we cannot, uh, we cannot approach this in an emotional way. Then we have the ring and the whip here. Um, this points to that um, it's possible that uh, if we would take some decisions related uh, to contracts or work agreements, uh, that there are uh, problems with that. And even in certain cases, uh, 
promises would be broken. For instance, if you are an employee, it's possible that your boss, he breaks his contract with you in a way. He don't keep to his promises. If you, you are an self-employed and you make certain agreements, it's possible that these people don't um, fulfill their uh, obligations. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination. Also, this points to misunderstandings here, some arguments. This is what we are seeing here. The promises that we that, that are made to us uh, cause us pain. This is what we are seeing here. Sometimes also it, the whole thing uh, makes us a little bit uh, angry. This is what we are seeing here with this uh, combination. Um, we need to be very careful here uh, that our things uh, that the things that we are doing here are hanging together we need to see that we if we engage in a certain contract but it's not going to be easy here uh, that we um, that see we need to see that the whole thing is holding very well together because the ring is coherent keeping things together gluing so we need to see that we negotiate very strictly and that the thing is very solid worked out this is very important that we uh, do some here with this if not it will end up in a predictable argument or conflict then we are mirroring the crossroads and um the whip here uh, we see here that um we separate we there are problems ahead here um it's possible that we make wrong choices so it's very we need to be very careful here um if we make wrong choices also or if we made wrong choices in the past we cannot dwell on the past we need to move ahead here we need to unwind ourselves and get out of this uh, situation as soon as we can this is what we are uh, seeing here the, the choices that we need to make again here could be contradictive with our person but we probably will need to make him and there will be more than one decision here that we are seeing here also we will plan probably a lot of discipline here inside uh, we could have a strong will strong determination for getting out of this situation but if we have a boss a boss here it's it points also that we could have a clash of wills here with certain uh, with certain authority figures or maybe with our boss here uh, this is what we are uh, seeing here the best way here to solve this is there are very uh, aggressive conflicts or arguments here is diplomacy this is what we are seeing here but you could point some uh, you could this could point to some regrets about certain decisions that we have uh, made here uh, with this decision it's possible also that people uh, criticize you for certain decisions that you have been making. This is what we are seeing here, and it's possible that we literally walk away from it here. Then we have the tree uh, and the sun here. The tree and the sun, um, it points to um, that there is a healing here coming here. Uh, it's become more in a, a positive, a positive uh, sphere here. Um, healthy here, we are we feel quite strong here on the health front here there's a lot of energy here we are well balanced out uh, this is actually a good uh, combination for a lot of energy here this is what we are seeing here and as i said with the sun even though it's difficult we keep high spirits here we have a lot of energy and there's still some joy even though we have a lot of difficulties that we are uh, finding here in ourselves here and here then um we will not probably let the tensions come to us here. It's like here we want to find clarity here in this uh, in this difficult situation here. It could be like it's not so sunny anymore here. This is what we are seeing here. And at a certain point here, if the problems really become very heavy uh, related to business here, it's possible here that we don't see the meaning of the business anymore. This is what we are seeing here, but we are trying. We are always trying to see the positive uh, side of these confusion, of these misunderstandings uh, that are happening here. Uh, with, But it will not be easy to understand what we are seeing here. But we try to have fun in life, even though in a desperate way here, this is what we are seeing here. Uh, then we're going to go in the last line, and then this is actually uh, quite a heavy line that we are having here. It's possible that the whole thing here from these contracts, even though we have a positive sphere, we keep quiet, we want to make the best out of it here, it gives us anger, it gives us frustration, challenges here. It's like something is threatening us here. This is what we are seeing here. 
we need to see here that we keep diplomacy intact, but if it's possible that you cannot, and that the, really, the situation really escalates or literally explodes here, and then we're gonna get, get an explosion here. This, this will be a very severe argument that we are seeing here, and the thing bursts open, and then there is like a fog hanging here. Uh, the, the, the mist from the explosion is hanging here uh, because of the quarrel, because of uh, these uh, communication arguments that we have, or these business conflicts that we are having here. This is what we are uh, seeing here. Anyway, uh, also sometimes we need to rethink the whole situation here. We need to think our, 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 uh, our way of thinking, we need to change it. Maybe you're here, you, you discover that you are stuck and that your thoughts keep going around. And maybe you need to see the situation in a different way for getting out of this here. It's like you, and you cannot because you're angry because these people don't fulfill their contracts here, their agreements, what they promise to you. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination. Then we have the clouds and the sit here. Um, the clouds and the sit here, it points to certain dangers that are around us here. This is what we are seeing here. But we want to clear up the confusion because we have enough of it. We, we cut through the con confusion. We want to cut through it here. We will, we will be very alert here if we had serious arguments to avoid this uh, situation in the future. Because maybe we experience this as a certain threat for our stability. We don't feel safe if we are a, if we have business. There is something going on here. It's like we are disorientated here. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination. This could literally give us headaches. Also, uh, this is what we are seeing here: migraines. Um, maybe sometimes also we sleep uh, not so good anymore. It's like something of, of, of fate happens and it causes a, a pain here um, with this combination. If you work for a certain person, uh, this is then the positive side. It's possible that you have a lot of knowledge yourself and you, you suddenly decide to break the contract, you go out of there and suddenly you start your own business. If you do so, this will go very fast. This would then be if you, if you are an employee, suddenly you go out of the business and you start your own. Maybe you're tired of it and you want to get out. And this might not be a bad thing to do. If you have certain contracts with people, the same applies here on you. It's possible that you end certain contracts and you go in a total different direction. This is what we are seeing here. We, 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 we need to address the problem and a, a, a solution might be the change of direction. This is what we are seeing here uh, with this combination. It, but we, you will be tempted here to be angry and aggressive, but try to avoid it here because diplomacy here, diplomacy and thinking will bring you further than outing aggression, but it will be difficult here. Um, things you will need to clean, clear up literally your mind here. This is, and you need to see that you have all the facts. If if these things are related to accountancy, to to misinformation, you need to work it out and see what you have missed. Maybe you've missed something here. This is what we are seeing here uh, with this combination. But maybe we need to let it go here. We need if you hold on. Sometimes if we cannot hold on to mist, to fog, because it slips through our fingers. And this is what we are seeing here. And if you cannot hold it anymore, it's best to let it go here. We don't put energy here in, in it anymore. Uh, we let it, it's better to let it go and go in a different path. We let go of the contracts here. Mm. This might be the best thing to do. We will need to make certain decisions probably related to accountancy here. This is what we are seeing here. If it's difficult here, this is what we are uh, seeing here. You will need to make certain decisions. And then here we have the, the whip and the sip. This is actually one of the difficult combinations of, of the cards here. It's the most difficult here. Uh, here we see that there is a danger here for that we are abused. There is a danger here for violence here. And, and if you have a quarrel, it will be very heavy. This is what we are seeing here. There's also emotional pain. It, 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 it uh, comes up on our body. We really feel it in our body, this, this situation here. This is uh, what we are seeing here. Um, if you start a business suddenly, calculate the risks well. So if you are angry and you say, I have enough of it, I start my own, or you cut off a part of your business and you start, you let it go, be careful that you are 
financially and accountantly in the right direction because this sometimes it can point also to risky business ventures. So be careful here if you make certain decisions and you suddenly uh, go out here um, because you could be quite energetic and you say, okay, I have enough, I do it myself here. Be careful that everything is stable and that the risks are not too big. Be careful here uh, because uh, something uh, here we need to be careful with that here. Th this points to warnings that we need to tread lightly here uh, with this uh, combination. But here we see also that if we are tired of certain persons, certain conditions, uh, that we will literally cut them off. We will literally uh, let them go. We will say our opinion um, and we will we could literally be angry to this person because this person was dishonest to us. They did not, uh, they did not fulfill their contracts. Uh, we could be uh, literally trying to hurt this person. In, a, in an argument, we could literally say uh, aggressive, assertive things to this person here because they didn't keep their word. Because uh, uh, here, this card um, wants to keep his promises. The ring wants to keep his promise and the son is honest. The son is honest. So if these contracts are not agreed, you will be very angry. This is what we are seeing here, and you will point these people on their things, but be careful what you do here, because there are tricky combinations here. There's a lot of explosivity here, so you will need to be very diplomatic here with this uh, combination. So uh, Gemini 4, the Stone Group, this is all. I hope you get a little bit wiser out of this uh, reading. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. If this card reading don't fit you at all, please check the other three that are connected here. I'm sure one of the four will fit you. If you're interested in specific personal philosophical card readings, we do these also, or love card readings, you can find that all on my channel. Uh, it's all available for the sign of Gemini. Anyway, Gemini, I want to thank you for your time. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for your time and bye-bye for now. Hello, Gemini, and welcome to the Matches or the Fire Group for your uh, money work business card reading for the month of January. This is your person card that we see here, uh, and the middle card, central card here that is connected to you directly is the whip. Uh, it means that we are probably uh, faced with certain uh, challenges here. Um, probably this points also to negotiations for a uh, maybe for getting more stability, for getting our feet uh, back on the ground. This points to a person who negotiates towards his stability. Uh, this is what we are seeing here if you're an employee, maybe you have some negotiations with your boss, uh, you probably will say directly what is on your mind uh, with this combination and it's probably related, as I said, maybe to the source of income, this is what we are uh, seeing here. Uh, anyway, um, it's possible also that uh, our boss ignored this system, we literally cracked the whip and we faced them with the problems that we are having or uh, that the changes that we want. Uh, then uh, we're going to go here in the vertical lines. Um, here we see uh, mostly this points to an employee. Uh, this would point to a person who is in accountancy, somebody who sells books. Uh, if you are self-employed, you could also uh, be selling books. You could have a bookstore. You could have be an accountant. So both apply here with this uh, combination. It points also to customers and probably more uh, customers will be coming because we have the book here. But uh, it's possibly here, it's still in development here. We don't know if these customers will come to us uh, or we cannot see it clear yet because sometimes the book uh, discloses the information later on. There could be some delays here, but here it points to the business um, that is improving, but we will need to approach it in a smart way. We need to reflect on it here. This is what we are seeing here. Uh, sometimes also this points to a very business-minded uh, independent here, a person who really know how to do business um, G Gemini is a very, uh, on business front, Gemini is ruled by Mercury and Mercury is the lord of trade in, in astrology. And this points to a very witty, a smart business person that we are seeing here. Sometimes also this points to a person who don't know when to stop working. So here this points to a person who's always working, working here, what we are seeing here, this could really be a person who is work addicted, but that will be an extreme, but this is a, a person uh, at the least who is very uh, committed to the job. If you're an employee, it means that you are very, uh, very committed to your job here. This is what we are seeing here. If you're in accountancy, uh, normally 
these people know your skills, they know what you're doing, maybe uh, you want to be appreciated for your skills, what we saw earlier, uh, because these skills might not be appreciated, then you negotiate about certain salaries or more stability in your life. Uh, it depends here wh where, uh, where you are of the two. Anyway, we have also integrity here with this uh, combination. Uh, then we have the fox and the book here. Uh, this, as I said here, this could uh, be somebody who is literally in the book business, accountancy, but also sometimes it points to educators, uh, also writing, uh, writers, independent writers, people who write for their for a living year. Uh, and in some cases, it will literally points to a librarian, uh, also that is then a, a totally different angle. In another way, if you're uh, in the investigation sector, a police officer, private inv investigations, this is what we are seeing here because the fox, he likes to investigate things here. Uh, this is what we are seeing here. Sometimes also we see police officers, people literally book, uh, literally uh, dig in the books, uh, find things out here in a discreet, uh, discreet uh, way here. This is what we are seeing here these people need to um find out information that is hidden here in a in a this uh, discreet way this is what we are seeing here uh, the these people uh, unreveal uh, unravel uh, hidden agendas here this is what we are seeing here so we have several possibilities here possible but also a private investigator is possible here with this uh, combination Anyway, these people in general, they take their time for observing before they act or react in the business that they are or as an employee, uh, what they are involved. They take their time to observe here. This is what we are seeing here. Um, this is also a very good combination for a person if he's lied to he will feel that he's lied to. So if you are a police officer and there's some trickery, you will know. You will feel it in your bones here that they try to lie to you. It's like you literally feel, smell the deceit, the, the lies that are coming to you. But also as an employee, if your boss makes you certain promises and he will not keep them, you will know. You will know that these promises are fake. This is what we are seeing here with this combination. Uh, here, this is what we are seeing here. But for if you are a teacher or uh, self-employed here, this means that you are a very good teacher. You know what you're uh, selling here. You know what you're educating here. This is a very uh, positive thing. Also, it's very positive. If you have a, your own business, this is a very good for a book business accountancy. This is what we are seeing. We see somebody here who really digs deep into the books and knows what he's uh, what he's doing here. Uh, sometimes also these people, they don't have only, they, they not only have academic, uh, academic knowledge, but they also educate their self in the side. So they get more knowledge here in the side, knowledge that is not necessarily directly connected to their, uh, to their work, but they, they see it as a complement. And they think it's they can apply this in their work and most, mostly they have a very good nose what they need to teach themselves here they 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 are uh, edu educating autodidacting themselves here uh, this is what we are seeing here uh, with this combination it could be that they feel that the education that they once took or that they are taking is incomplete they want more facts this is what we are seeing here there's like a distrust an unsatisfaction in the basic education, they want to know more. They want to dig deeper here. This is what we are, we are seeing here. Sometimes also with this combination, we need to be careful if we sign certain contracts or agreements. So see that you uh, read the small print very well if you, um, if you uh, sign a contract or whatever uh, that you are about to do. Then we go uh, here in the second uh, horizontal line, we see the fox, the whip and the uh, mountain here. And here we see um, maybe uh, we get angry on our employer. It's possible also that we get uh, angry on our customers. This is possible. So uh, try to get yourself under control here. Uh, but here this points to aggression. Uh, sometimes it points that we are angry uh, to some customers. It's possible that we have a conflict with a customer here that we are seeing here. Maybe some customers have ill will or they try to get something from 
from us that uh, that is not uh, theirs to get here. This is what we are uh, seeing here. Anyway, we need to be uh, careful here, cautious here uh, with, uh, with certain people. If we have certain uh, employees, it's possible also with this combination that uh, we have certain employees that try to sabotage our business. So we need to be very careful here with this uh, combination here. But uh, it's possible then if you see that uh, some employees try to sabotage you, that you get very angry. So that is the other side then. So anyway, for both here, there is caution urged here. This is what we are uh, seeing here. There's like a, a certain a trap here that could be uh, going on here uh, with this combination. You need to see here that these people don't act against you. And if you're an employee, you need to see that you don't act against your own self-interest. This is what we are seeing here, that you don't hurt your own cause here. This is what we are seeing here. But also we need to be uh, careful here that our customers don't abuse, uh, abuse us, or uh, if we have a business uh, or if we work for somebody that we are not abused as an employee here. This is what we are seeing here with this uh, combination here. Um, uh, Sometimes also it points that we blame ourselves for certain things here, or we get accused uh, by some people here of doing certain things here. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination. It's possible also that this is a necessary assertivity that we are seeing here with this uh, combination. This is what uh, it happens also. Then we have the whip and the mountain. The whip and the mountain here that points that we have a certain confrontation, maybe with an enemy, maybe with a competitor, maybe with an, an employee, uh, maybe we towards our boss here. Um, but anyway, uh, the, the issues will uh, definitely uh, pop up because uh, my, maybe uh, this is already going on for a while and the problem is always extended, but now it finally could come uh, to a confrontation. Sometimes this is, this is two times Mars. So this could be quite something that suddenly pops up here. And uh, we need to be careful if we come into a confrontation here with a customer, with uh, our uh, as an employee towards our boss or our boss towards us, that we literally don't get into a fight. Uh, also with the customers, we could get into a fight. Maybe the customer get aggressive on us and he, he literally could beat us up. So be careful here with this uh, combination. But as I, what I mentioned earlier is also applicable here with this uh, combination. Anyway, we'll need to, we will need to deal with these facts, uh, with these problems here. Uh, this argument is not to be taken lightly here uh, because there is a serious issue going on here uh, with this combination. We, as, a, as, a, as an employee, uh, if a customer has a complaint, we will need to be very understanding here because I'm assuming here that this person really has an issue. He's really blocked uh, with something here. And uh, we need to be careful that we, um, that we approach him in the right way. If you are self-employed and towards your staff, you will need to be very diplomatic also here uh, that it don't come to a certain things that, uh, that, that you don't want to, uh, don't want to find here uh, with this combination. Anyway, there are uh, discussions here uh, going on here uh, and it's possible also that it turns around and it leads nowhere. This is what we are seeing here. So we will need to be uh, diplomatic if we can uh, see here uh, with this uh, combination. Anyway, uh, some of, 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 of people in this group, they will decide uh, not, to, um, not to react on the aggressivity. As long as, of course, if you are not literally beaten, uh, it's possible that you take distance because the mountain takes distance. So it's possible that you take your distance from the customers and you walk away from it. This is what we are seeing here with this combination. Uh, maybe there's some uh, short apology here that is possible here and you take distance to towards the customer. This is possible also because the mountain takes distance from things here. Um, it's possible that you keep, uh, just keep silent here with, uh, with this combination. If you're a self-employed and your staff is maltreated, it's possible that the, your staff don't, uh, the people that work for you refuse to communicate with you. This is what we are seeing here with this combination, but we need to be careful here with bullying, with aggression here with this uh, combination. But the advantage is that if we want, the mountain can keep very calm, it can keep very cool. So it's possible if you approach it in a different way that the, the customer cannot move you. 
that you are already experienced in the field, uh, that you know what you're doing and the customer is assertive or aggressive or, or uh, something like that. And you keep just calm. You just keep calm. You are unmoved here. This is what we are seeing here because the mountain can give us patience also. So there are certain, um, certain possibilities here that we have. There are several possibilities here, but be careful if you are confronted with certain aggressivities. It's possible that it comes here. Then we have the fox and the mountain. We mirror them towards each other. Uh, here it's, it's um, if we have an independent business, it's possible that some people try to block us here. This is what we are seeing here. And they could do it in a quite assertive and aggressive way. It's like they don't hide it here. This is what we are uh, seeing here. Anyway, we need to be careful here. Uh, we need to work out a strategy. This is important here that we work out a business strategy if we see that some people would block us. Uh, maybe they try to get some customers from us here and it... Um, it, it, uh, it affects our business growth here. So we need to be careful here that we work out a smart plan here. Um, sometimes also uh, it points that um, we go around the problems, we overcome the problems here. But uh, in general here, this points to that we need to work out a plan. So because the fox is a plan card here, Mercury is smart. So you need to put your brain to work for approach this in a, in a very good way here. Uh, if somebody would blocking you or your business is blocking or they uh, cause you delays, it's possible that your staff causes you deliberately delays or a business competitor uh, tries to cause you delays. This is what we are seeing here. Uh, sometimes also, it could be that we uh, evaluated a problem and we make a certain decision and we misjudged the problem. This is possible also with this uh, combination. And there could be some frustration here also. Uh, it's possible also that we in are encountered with certain lies. This is what we are seeing here uh, with this combination. And it could make us a little bit uh, angry here with this uh, combination. Anyway, we need to be aware that there are certain challenges here uh, come, uh, come up to us here uh, with this combination. It's possible so we just keep quiet about it, but um, there is some things going on. Uh, <clears throat> with the Fox, it's wise to make a quiet plan. This is what we are seeing, especially with the book. We need to make a quiet plan for advancing. This is what we are uh, seeing here. Um, if you're an employee and your boss makes certain suggestions to you, it's possibly because the mountain can be very stubborn. So here uh, it's possible that your employee, he says, do like this or like that. And you say no. And the no is no. You are unmovable. So this is what we see here also with this combination. You, you, you block what you don't agree with here. Um, this is what we are seeing here. <clears throat> It's possible if you are self-employed and certain business suggestions are made uh, upon you here. This is what we are seeing here. Or you, you, you know uh, that certain business strategies are worked out. You disagree with certain strategies. This is what we are seeing here. But anyway, we will adapt here to an uneasy situation. Then we have the book and the anchor here. I wanted to add this one also. Uh, here we see that we inform ourselves well. We, uh, we investigate what has been going on here. Here we inform uh, here and also we need to trust our knowledge. We need to trust what we already know. We cannot hesitate. We, mu we, we must trust what we find. But we need to double check everything. This is what we are seeing here. We must apply what we have learned here. Uh, this is what we are seeing here. If you are a police officer, everything I said, um, you could come in difficult situations here, uh, very difficult situations that you are lied to, that, that, that there are some things going on here that are very tricky here. Everything I mentioned before, you need to translate that in your profession than if you are a police officer or if you are somehow uh, connected to investigations or, or, or services that require quietness here. This is what we are seeing here. Anyway, um, we will keep our own uh, truths here. Uh, it's possible also if certain facts are coming to you, you negotiate about certain facts. So you give me something and I give you something. It's here like secrets are traded. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this combination also. Sometimes this is a form of negotiation. We could be confronted with this also that we exchange secret for getting deeper into the case. We need to give something for getting something. This is what we are uh, seeing here. But we are very determined here to find out. We focus very strongly on, on the truths here. Uh, if you do an edu additional education, you will um, 
whatever your field of work is, it means a very strong focus here on the education. You focus on finding out things here. Uh, there are intellectual pursuits here going on here for getting more safer, more stable, more knowledge. This is what we are seeing here. You're literally here with your nose in the books. This is what we are seeing here. So Gemini, this is all for the fire group. I hope you get a little bit wiser out of this card reading. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. If this card reading don't fit you at all, please check out the other three that are connected here. I'm sure one of the four will fit you. If you are interested in love card readings, you can find these also, uh, love and relationship card readings. If you are more interested in your uh, personal finances, I also do uh, personal financial uh, short readings. You can find everything on my channel. Uh, it will just take you some time and you will get, of course, a little bit smarter in the weeks to come. Anyway, uh, Gemini, I want to thank you for your time. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for doing so. And bye-bye for now, Gemini.